हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द टाइप्स ऑफ अमीन्स नॉमिन क्लेचर ऑफ अमीन एंड सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल वी हैव स्टडीड सो अगेन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी सम मोर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड सम पॉइंट्स विच विल बी द सुटेबल फॉर नेमिंग so on screen see here we will see the mixed amine student mixed amine means what these are nothing but the alkyl or aryl groups will be there and these are will be the different are not the same not the common and that's why it is also it is these examples are the nitrogen substituted derivatives of primary amine so student see the example first one structure what is that structure first structure first structure is this one so at one position there is a methyl group is attached and at second position see this is the methyl group and at second position means other side there is a four carbon atoms are there one chain is there so methyl group and butyl group is there so can you tell me what will be the name for this what was the rule for the common names select the alkyl substituent and write in the alphabetical order so two alkyl substituents are there methyl as well as butyl so alphabetically but b comes first that's why we have to write the butyl methyl amine this is the rule again see the second structure what is that second structure student tell me in the second structure this is the nitrogen at one side there is what methyl group second hydrogen is replaced by ethyl group and third hydrogen atom is replaced by propyl group so here three alkyl substituents are there methyl ethyl and propyl so our rule is what arrange in a alphabetical order and ending with amine word so which comes first yes ethyl then methyl and then propyl so we will write ethyl methyl propyl amine so see the student the next structure can you tell me the iupac sorry common name for this one anyone yes here two substituents are there first is what ethyl and at other side which is that butyl so again two substituents are there arrange in the alphabetical order which come first ethyl or butyl yes butyl come first so that's why butyl ethyl amine please check whether we are saying correct or not yes butyl ethyl amine so these are the rules for the common name now let's see what will be the name are you please see name for this compound so first one what is the rules in the previous slide previous lecture we have seen that what was that yes select the longest carbon containing chain which is attached to the nitrogen atom so this side is a longest chain give the numbering first number correct what will be here here come it will comes first then second this is the third and this is the fourth so this is the one okay so naming will be what this is the parent main chain is there this one will be the main chain so smaller substituent will be here methyl so that methyl is attached to the nitrogen atom so that's why this capital n comes n means nitrogen substituent here n stands for nitrogen and which substituent is there methyl group so that's why this will be the methyl and ending parent hydrocarbon that's why at one position nitrogen is there so one dash and how many carbon atom four that's why butan amine so here e is replaced by from the alkane butane instead of that butane you are knowing that e comes so that e is replaced by suffix amine now let's see student the next structure here now which one is the parent one means main chain main chain mean long chain this is the main chain correct so these two are the acts as a substituent so which substituent come first tell me which come first 
Here which come first? Yes. Answer will be what? Ethyl. So ethyl is alphabetically first. So that's why we will write N. At N means nitrogen substituted ethyl. So N dash ethyl. Again which group is there? Methyl. So again what? Dash N dash methyl. Again dash and which group is there? Which main ring is, main substituent is there? 1 dash propan amine. Student, can you tell me for this structure, what is the IUPAC name? It is easiest one, similar to first one. What is that? At one end, it is the ethyl group and at another side, it is the butyl group. Correct? So, what will be here? N dash. So, we, first of all, which one will be the main, re, main substituent? Main will be the this butyl. So, this will be the parent hydrocarbon. So, from that E is replaced by amine word. So, your name will be what? At N means nitrogen. Which group is substituted? N ethyl dash. Correct? And then numbering will be for this 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 1 butanamine. Let's see whether we are correct or not. Yes. N ethyl 1 butanamine. Now, see the next one. Diamines. So, student, some amines are like that in which two nitrogen atoms may be present in one example, in one structure. See that structure. What are that? This is the structure in front of us. This one. Here the two NH2 groups are present. How many? Two NH2 groups are present. Then we are calling this compound as a diamine type of compound. So, again here are what? Naming will be according to the IUPAC as well as common. So, let's see. What are the IUPAC rules? Simple, just give the numbers. We have to give the number. So, I will give what? Number here. So, how we will give the number? How we will give the number here? See, I have given that the number 1 and 2. So, what type of that numbering will be there? This will be your first number, okay, or second and vice versa, you can give it. So, that's why here you have to give the number actually, 1 and 2. How many carbon atoms are there? 2 carbon. So, that's why which alkene will be there? Ethane. And at 1 and 2 position, amino groups are there. So, that's why dash 1 comma 2 dash diamine. So, this will be the IUPAC rule. So, can you tell me for this, what will be the name according to the IUPAC nomenclature? See here, I have given here that first position means CH2 6, CH2, CH2, CH2 like that I have mentioned. At one position, amino group is there and at six position, again the amino groups are there and in between that six carbon atoms are there. So, name will be the hexane. What name comes? Hexane. So, in this way, hexane at one position, six position, two amino groups, hexane, one, six, diamine. So, it will be the hexane, one, six, diamine. In case of common system, you just write the polymethylene diamine as a word. Polymethylene diamine as a word. So, how we will give the name to that? See, this is the ethylene structure. And two amino groups are there. So, ethylene diamine. And next one will be how many methylene are there? Six. So, hexamethylene and ending with diamine because it is a polymethylene diamine. Ethylene is there. That's why the name is ethylene. And two amine means diamine. Here, six methylene groups are there. So, hexa means six. Hexamethylene diamine. So, Next point is the cycloamines. So, student, see that cycloamines means cyclic ring will be there. So, on your screen, two rings are there. One ring is the cyclopentyl ring and second one is the cyclohexyl ring. So, this cyclo means simply the when the NH2 group is attached to the any ring, cyclic ring, then we are calling it as cycloamines. So, Student, listen, here are the two rings are mentioned, I have mentioned. In common name, you just use the word cycloalkylamine. 
So we will see here the common names only. Cycloalkyl amine because this is the which ring is there? Pentyl. So cyclopentyl amine. So student, we will see next part in the next uh, lecture. So everyone, now take care. Bye.